Hey, and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's having a great day. Today, I'm going to be diving into the aspects of data storage and something super important, backing up your hard drive. Have you ever experienced that heart wrenching moment where all of a sudden you realize that one of your important files is gone and you're doing everything to find it or you just don't know what to do? Well, I'm going to be talking about the options that you can be using to back up your hard drive. So let's get into that right now. Let's crack open 10 reasons why backing up is so important and it's so essential. Explore ver local versus cloud storage and the cloud debate. And finally, let's tackle that burning question. How much storage do you really need? Example, if you have a four terabyte hard drive, how much storage do you need to back that up? I'll t give you that quick answer. If you have four, you need five. If you have 10, you need 11. We'll get into that more now. There are basically 10 reasons why you need to back up your hard drive. As the technology ev evolves, your memory shouldn't. Backups should ensure that your data remains accessible, even with the format changes. As Windows has evolved, so has its formats and so has its changes. So you want to be able to access that data all the time. You want to be able to organize and declutter that information. You need to. You may. You may be using your external hard drive to do backup and free space on your main drive by backing up files less, less frequently or more frequently. Backups to your digital attic, keeping everything safe and sound. You might have multiple devices, and you want to be able to move that information back and forth. You know, or you're on the travel. You're traveling, and you want to take that information with you. All of these are reasons why you want to back up and store stuff externally. You can access your backed up files from anywhere on any device, whether you have whether you need to use your internet connection or you have with a cloud storage or be able to use a portable drive. And it's easier than you think. Modern backup solutions are automated. So in this case, I'm showing on the screen a Seagate external drive, which I plug in. And that one can be set to automatically back up my files as they change. So I don't have to worry about them getting lost. Now, the big debate is whether cloud storage or local storage. Let's address the elephant in the room. Local storage, external drives, and cloud storage both have pros and cons. One of the main things for having local storage is that you have easy access to it, and you don't need an internet to do that. You can bring those files with you anywhere. You can put them in a, your suitcase, carry them anywhere, keep them safe in it. Firebox, you know they're safe and, and they can't be touched. And their cheaper upfront cost makes them great. Now, one of the great things about local access and having a hard drive right there is you have no internet required. You can access that information anytime you want to. You have more control of your data security. You don't have to worry about somebody breaking into the cloud. And it's all usually cheaper upfront. Okay, but the cons are it is physical data, so it could be lost, stolen, damaged. You know, you have a fire in your location and it's, everything is destroyed, which is why I keep my backups in, in a fire safe. But that's something else to talk about. Now, cl cloud storage has its advantage. Number one, of course, is its back automatic backups. It's accessible from anywhere where you have an internet connection, and disaster co recovery, it's stored off site. The cons, of course, you're relying on a sta stable internet connection, ongoing subscription fees, potential security d problems such as being hacked or being broken into, uh, and ultimately, the choice depends on the individual needs. Consider factors like budget, internet, reliability, and the level of control you need. Do you remember years ago what happened in New York City when, when the flood came? A lot of the cloud storage servers were in basements under the ground. So when New York had the flood from Sandy, a lot of those storage computers, a lot of sto cloud storage was destroyed. So people had backed their information up on those physical media, lost everything. So that's a consideration you have to consider. Now for my particular situation where I'm, I have a four terabyte drive, I'm gonna be using a five terabyte drive. 
and you always want to go one terabyte over because not only do you want to save up your uh, files but there may be other files on other drives that you want to also back up especially your user user files and your uh, internet history and all of that this is good to back that up because if that goes out you really want to have that available Hey, before we even get, continue, just don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I hope this content is being helpful for you. Don't forget to give a comment. What do you kind of backup do you use? Do you use both? Or do you, and, and you use the Seagate drive? I happen to use Seagate because that's what I prefer. And don't forget to give a little thanks, a little dollar sign. You can give thanks and support the channel either by hitting the thanks or by using the affiliate links that I'm going to leave you to get find uh, backup storage. But bottom line is, you need to use a backup of some type. Whether you're using the automatic backup to use a secondary drive within your computer, have an external drive like, as the cloud, or an external drive like a Seagate or Western Digital, whatever it happens to be. You want to have an automatic backup because, God forbid, something goes wrong and you lose that important file. Just imagine you're a business. I was at a business one time and they never backed up their tax files and all their tax information all that medical billing information the hard drive failed and lost everything so by backing up that information you will always have something to go back to because in today with the digital era there's no more paper file nothing to go back to so again hope this has been helpful for you don't forget to like share and subscribe leave us a comment and don't forget to check out my other videos on installing a new hard drive, upgrading your hard drive, and other videos like that. Again, this is your Grandpa KC. We love you. See you in the next video.